Hey, the tube is Gundy73 making a video in response to Jay Davis 882's video discussing um, liner locks or frame locks. And um, I, I mean, an interesting thing here, just to, uh, as a, a primer, I guess you could say, of this video, is that um, Sal Gillespie is on the record on Blade Forms, and I'll put the post in the description, and he said that the titanium military and the liner lock military have the exact same lock strength. They're engineered to be exactly the same. So, that should say something right there. In my opinion, I agree with him to a certain extent that liner locks and frame locks are pretty much about the same in terms of strength. But, um, there is a photo circulating around the internet of a broken Emerson HD7 that shows this part right here bowed way out. The lock obviously broke. It was, I think, batoned. But, um, Case in point was the lock didn't fail. This, just since titanium is a softer metal and it's really tough, this really bowed out right here. It didn't break, it didn't snap, but the lock was still engaged. And also, in my experience, liner locks, um, if they're going to fail, they just sort of slip off the, the lock face. You know, I think the reason a lot of people, you know, noobs, I guess you could say, don't like liner locks is because um, they have poor experiences with them. They buy gas station knives. And then, um, you know, they, uh, they equate the low-quality gas station knife to something quality like a military. The military's liner lock is solid. I trust my life to this knife if I had to. But um, what I have is I have a digital calipers. Okay, so let's zero these out best I can. They're kind of finicky, but with these... These N2 numbers aren't really relevant. It's really these first two, the uh, tens and hundredths, I believe. Um, I've already measured these knives, but I'm just going to show you guys on camera here how I'm measuring. So I have the military's liner, and um, it's about, it says 0 .047, 0 .408. I round this up to 0 .05 for the purposes of video. Now, um, yeah. ZTO 550, it's cut out, measuring the cutout itself, point, is that really 0.047? No, I was measuring the clip. It's like 0 0.044, 0 0.045. Now, I've measured, I'm not going to go and measure these all again, but um, my little cheat sheet here, the ZT's titanium measured out at 0.17, that's the full thickness of the tie lock bar, the cutout measured at 0.04. Um, Kershaw tilt, it's titanium measured at 0.18, and it's lock, uh, lock bar cutout measured at 0.04. Military measured at 0.05. Small Sebenza, um, the titanium measured at 0.12, and the cutout, because it has this very nice variable cutout, at the thinnest it measured at 0.05, at that peak in the middle it measured at 0.08. Large Sebenza. 21. It measured at 0.15 thick for the tie and uh, 0.07 at the shallow part of the valley there on the scale of this lock bar cutout and uh, 0.085 at the peak. So I wrote those all down just in case you guys want to see my piss poor handwriting. But um, basically speaking, in my opinion, any of these knives will be perfectly fine. Um, if you use your knife for cutting, and cutting alone, then I believe lock strength doesn't really ever come into play. You can play the hypothetical game and say, well, you know, if I was stranded on a desert island and I had kung fu grip like a G.I. Joe and my frame lock would break, you know, and I had to do that every day for a million years, then maybe. But in my opinion, there's not a big, um, that's nothing to worry about. If you buy a quality knife like um, any of these on the table, you know, you're set. I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't worry about it. They're all solid. They're all dependable. They'll all serve you quite well. So, uh, and I guess since Trey Davidson, that Juju 1313 person, I believe that I pronounced that right, each picked a favorite. My personal favorite is the titanium frame lock. I prefer it over a liner lock. I like the heft. I like the feel in my hand. I like the look. I like the simplicity. And also, since I never, since if your knives are sharp, you shouldn't really have to have ultra kung fu grip when you're gripping them. And also, if you look on here, here's the lock bar, right? My index finger rests right above the lock bar, and then my 
right in my middle of stuff right there. So I'm not really holding the lock bar when I grip the knife. I'm gripping as tight as I can right now, or really hard, and the lock bar isn't moving because I'm not touching it. Same thing with a large Sebenza. You can see how you can rest your finger right there above the, look how I hold, I'm basically holding it like that. Exaggerated, but you can see how I hold it. I'm not putting any pressure on the lock bar itself. I'm putting it right above the lock bar. It has this little spot you can hold on to. So, sure, you can hold it right there and, and you know, screw your lock, but you don't have to. So that's why I like frame locks, um, et cetera. So I hope you guys found it interesting with my little uh, caliper thingy. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.